Hi, I'm Rick Wright, a career specialist with the Career Center, which is a free service of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. And in this video, we are going to show you how to apply for a job online with Taco Bell. First, let me share my screen and show you the Career Center website, which is at careercenterbr.com that has a wealth of resources to help you with your career or especially with your job search. When you're ready, open up a web browser such as this and type tacobell.com and hit enter. When you apply for a job with a particular business or company, usually you want to go to that company's website and apply that way. It's not the only way, but it's the best if you can do it. And what you want to look for is something on their website that says jobs or careers that usually is at the bottom of their homepage. So click on the little gray bar and drag it all the way down or use the wheel on your mouse and scroll down to the bottom and there it is, careers, and click on that. Let me take myself out of the picture. So Taco Bell presents us with some choices. Do we wanna work for the corporation or work in a restaurant? Let, for, let's assume you want to work in a local restaurant, click on that. We're open and hiring, that's great. They still present us another few choices. Do we want to work as restaurant staff, as management, or we're interested in other opportunities? For the purposes of this video, let's go with restaurant staff. Click on that. Scroll down a little bit. What's helpful is before they give us a list of job openings of 30,000 jobs with Taco Bell throughout the nation, they want to know you're looking for a job in which city, in which state. You see this down arrow where it says state, province, or region? Click on that, we get a list of choices. Drag, click and drag down to find Louisiana. And click on that. In which city? Click on that and drag down to the city that you are looking for a job in. In this case, we're gonna choose Baton Rouge. And hit search. All right, now it shows us a list of 33 jobs with Taco Bell restaurants in Baton Rouge. And you can scroll through the list to look at which location, which job title interests you. We're only seeing 10 of the 33 openings, but over here on the left, you can increase how many items per page. I'm gonna click on 50 and it shows us all 33 jobs in one nice list. In order to show you how to apply for a job with Taco Bell, we're going to choose this second one, actually the first one, team member service champion with a Taco Bell restaurant that is on 4220 Burbank Drive. It's actually close to my house. Click on apply. It then shows us the job title, team member, more specifically a service champion. If you're applying for management, send your resume to this person at this email address. There's a description of the job, what kind of things you do. It tells us that it's part-time and which shifts. Click on apply. Okay. We now see the same information we saw on the last web page. When you're ready, click on Apply Now. This is where people can get a little confused. You think, oh, I need to sign into my account. If you have never applied for a job with Taco Bell, you don't have an account. This will not work. You want to create a new account. Click on that. All right, you see the stars? The stars, they always indicate you have to provide information in that box. So first name, I'm gonna use a fictitious person who is Jane Public. And when you're applying for a job online, do try to use perfect spelling and punctuation. So capitalize Jane, capitalize Public. 
email address, use your email address or phone number. I'm going to use fictitious Jane Public's email address, which is Jane Q Public, 1996, B-I-G-E.com. Password. Now, it doesn't tell us what the password requirements are. I have done two practice run-throughs, and I know from experience that it has to be at least eight characters, has to have an uppercase and a lowercase letter, a number, and a special character also known as a symbol, such as a dollar sign. So I'm going to capitalize the first letter of the password I want to use when I create this account. It's the name of my dog, my birth year, and then a dollar sign. Whatever password you create that fulfills those requirements, it is imperative that you write it down, save it, and you can also save it in your smartphone or you can email it to yourself. It's important that you remember the credentials for the account that you create so that you can continue or check on the status of your job application. When you're ready, click on Create Account. Ah, this is a little confusing, but I know what this is. The Taco Bell job application website sends an email that contains a code. And then that confirms that that is indeed our email address or our cell number. So what we're going to do is go up here to the top of the browser, click on the plus sign, and log into your email account. Now, JNQ Public, it's an account with Gmail, so I'm going to type gmail.com, hit enter, and I'm going to sign in. You can hit enter or click on next. What is the email password? You can click on show password. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to show you the password for this account, but you can click on show password to see what you're typing. Hit enter or click on next. I don't want the browser to save this password. Hmm, we're gonna skip this, not now. All right, this is Jane Q Public's email account. And looking, for, we wanna look for this email that says your verification code, it's 528710. Keep in mind that it's going to be different every time you create an account, it's gonna be different for every person. So don't use this code log into your email account and get the code from this email. I'm gonna write it down and then go back to this tab, click in the box and type that code and hit confirm. Wow, it, took, it takes a few minutes, it takes a lot of effort simply to create an account with Taco Bell's job application website, and then we can begin the application itself. The first thing their website does is it gives us the opportunity to upload a document such as your resume. I'm going to show you how to do this. For many job application websites, when you upload your resume, the website reads your resume and uses the information and fills out most of the application for you. And this saves you a lot of typing. I know from my practice run throughs, all it does is fill in the name and contact information, but I still had to enter my education and work history. But let me show you how to do this. The red dot means you have to give an answer. So we're going to go ahead and click on that line. This is my resume for Jane Public. See the down arrow? It's a drop down menu. Click on that. I'm going to upload my resume. And then you click on My Documents or wherever it is that you have your resume saved. My Documents. I put it on my desktop. Resume, JNQ Public Food Service. Click, then open. It attached my resume. Click on OK. Whoops, got to scroll down a little bit. Click on next. Taco Bell's job application website read the resume that we uploaded, but it only filled out the contact information. In fact, not even the address. See where it says street, city, state, and zip code and phone number? Those are not filled in. Any red dot means you have to provide information. 
JNQ Public lives at ABC Street. Make sure you use your street address, your city. Click Baton Rouge with a capital B, capital R. State Province, click. Here's our list of choices. Louisiana, zip code, your zip code. Email address is already done from when we first created the account. Phone number, use a fictitious phone number. Make sure you use yours. And how did you find us? How did you find this job opening? Click on the down arrow, see your list of choices. Maybe you saw it on Indeed or Google Jobs and so on. In this case, we found it on their website, which is the company website. Click on the answer that best fits. Send text updates. Do you want Taco Bell to send you text messages about the status of your application? Most people choose yes because they are very interested to know how that is going. So we're going to click on yes. When you're ready, click on next. Now, before you can, we continue, there are certain things that you want to have before you start to fill out the application. First, have with you a piece of paper, such as your resume, that has your work history on it. Also, you will need to provide some references. If you have some references that Taco Bell can contact to ask about you as a worker, you need to have their name, phone number, email address, and sometimes it is difficult to obtain that information. So have that ready before you continue or else you may have to stop for a few minutes and track down this information. Let's continue. Are you at least 18 years of age? Yes, see how it highlights when you choose? Are you legally eligible to work in the country you wish to work in? We're applying for a job with Taco Bell in the United States. Are you an American citizen? Do you have a green card or a work authorization? Yes. Do you have reliable transportation? Yes. What are your minimum expected earnings? What, how much do you want to be paid as at a minimum? This is an awkward question. You might do a little research and perhaps talk to some friends that work at Taco Bell. There's also ways to do research on their pay scale. Let's assume for the sake of this video that we're expecting at least $10 per hour. How far are you willing to travel to work? I'm willing to travel up to 10 miles. If you're willing to go farther for your work, click on the arrow. You can choose 25 or 50. 50 might be a lot, but you choose how far you're willing to travel. We're gonna stay with 10. Please tell us about yourself in 30, 350 characters or less. In other words, tell us why you would be a great team member and what sets you apart from other candidates. So in, this is like a tweet in which you are telling Taco Bell, this is who I am as a worker and this is why you should hire me. So click on the line, use your own words. I'm going to type something quick and positive. When you are done, click on next. Schedule. Would you like to work full, part-time, or temporary? And you have a first choice and a second choice. Let's say I would prefer to work full-time for Taco Bell, but I'm willing to work part-time. You choose what is best for you. Would you prefer to work days, afternoons, or nights? When do you prefer to be scheduled? You have a first choice and a second choice. I prefer to work during the day, but I'm willing to work afternoons. And you might choose nights for one or one of these. Which days of the week are you available to work? It doesn't mean they're going to schedule for all of those days, but you say, if you schedule me on these days, I will be able to work on that day. You can say, I can work any day or, Jane is going to say she is willing to work Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, not Sundays. I want to leave Sunday free, and I'm willing to work holidays. Are you willing to work a changing schedule? I prefer a routine schedule so that I can plan other parts of my life. 
but I'm willing to, but part of working at a restaurant is normally they do need you to change your schedule sometimes. I'm going to choose occasionally. And when can you start? I can start today or tomorrow or eh, give me one or two weeks. We're going to choose one or two weeks. When you're ready, click on next. All right, we have to fill in our education. See the red dots? We have to answer this. What's the highest grade level you have completed? Click on the down arrow, what are our choices? Jane finished high school, finished 12th grade. Do you have a high school diploma, GED, or you finished secondary school? Yes. Now, fictitious Jane Q. Public is a graduate of a real high school. Which country? It's already on United States. Thanks, that saves us a step. Which city? Click on the line. Rouge with capital B, capital R, correct spelling. Which state? Click. Let's go down to Louisiana. College. Now, let's assume that Jane Public did not attend college. But I know from the practice run-throughs, you actually have to answer. Click on the plus sign for college. If you did not attend college, you can click on this, select the highest level, and you can say none. Perhaps you went to Louisiana State or Baton Rouge Community College for one or two years, but did not graduate, and so on. We're going to choose no college, so the rest goes blank. Trade school. Again, if you did not enter trade, uh, attend trade school, you still have to answer. Click on the plus side. Did you attend trade, career, or vocational school? Jane did not. But if the answer is yes, you click on yes and provide the information about that school. In this case, no. When you're ready, click on next. Do you have a prior work history? Now there's some people that they've never had a job, especially if you, perhaps you are in high school. Jane does have a work history. Click on, we're going to click on yes. Who did you work for? Well, Jane Worked for Wendy's. We can't type an apostrophe, which is interesting. Where? United States has already chosen. Which city? Fictitious Jane worked at real Wendy's in uh, the United States in Baton Rouge. Which state? Click on that. Scroll down to Louisiana. What was the last title or position held? Team member. And in 250 characters or less, tell us what you did. When you are ready, oh, we're not ready yet. You gotta give them the dates, click on employment dates. Why did you leave or your plan on leaving that place of employment? Click on the arrow and here's our choices. It is important when you answer this question to avoid negative answers and you want to choose something that is neutral or positive, but at the same time, it does need to be truthful and accurate. So we're going to, you give the answer that is best for you. We're going to say Jane left for a better opportunity. Start date. Okay, so we're going to click on the line and just enter the date, right? Ah, watch. Click and we get a calendar menu. This confuses people. And you see the drop down menus? So Jane worked at Wendy's from December. 2017, which day? You know, I don't remember the day. So we're going to choose one. And then you have to click on done in the lower right corner. Okay, now the date is entered. Are you still working there? In this case, no. When did we finish? Click to get the menu. Jane finished in May 2020. Other information, click on the plus sign. Can we contact this employer for a reference? As much as possible, you wanna answer yes. Yeah, I'm, fi I'm fine with you contacting the person that I used to work for or with. Supervisor name. This is a fictitious person, Jane Smith. And supervisor phone number. This is another example of information you want to look up and have ahead of time. This is not a real phone number. 
That way they can contact the person that you worked for. When you're ready, click on next. Okay, employment history saved successfully. Do you want to add a new one? For the purposes of this video, we're not going to. We've just provided one example from Jane's work history where she worked at a restaurant, something that is relevant to applying for a job with Taco Bell. If you have other restaurant jobs in your work history, you might want to click on yes and provide that. For now, we're going to click on no. One is enough. Do you have any references? You don't have to provide references, but you can provide up to three. We want to show you how to do this, so we're going to click on yes, one reference. The reference is phone number, a fictitious phone number, a fictitious email, relationship, click on the down arrow. Now, as much as possible, it helps to provide references that are people that you worked for or worked with. Acquaintances, friends, they're okay, but you, as much as possible, someone you worked for or with. We're going to say that Chris Johnson was my supervisor at a previous job. Someone who can tell Taco Bell what you are like as a worker. When you're ready, click on next. Now they give us a list of positions and locations for which we can apply. I thought we chose this at the beginning, but they're giving us another chance to modify that choice. Do you want to be a shift lead at this location, service champion at this location, and so on? We're going to choose the second one. Click on apply. For the third time, they provide us a job description. How did you find out about this opportunity? We cannot skip this. There's a red dot. Click on that. I thought we already answered this. We're going to say we found it on the company website. Click on apply now. So this means we're going to finish our application, right? Ah, uh, wait just a moment. Not quite. Have you worked for this company for Taco Bell before? If you have, you click on yes. Jane did not, so click on no. Are you 16 years of age or older? I thought we sort of answered this question, but we're going to answer it again. Yes. How many employers have you worked for in the past two years? Well, fictitious Jane worked at Wendy's for three years. So we're going to click on one. You click on the answer that is correct for you. Are you able to perform the essential duties of the position with or without reasonable accommodations? Basically, are you physically able to do the job if you have some physical challenges, if they provide reasonable accommodations, you can still do it. We're going to click on yes, but you answer in the way that is truthful for you. How would you define your teamwork abilities? You're a team player, you work, I work best alone. You're a team player and a good leader. You're not sure. You answer in the way that is best for you. For this video, we're gonna choose I'm a good team player. Can you work well in a fast paced service environment? Restaurants can get a little hectic. All of the time, most of the time, never. I don't know or have no experience with such a thing. You answer in the way that is truthful for you. We're going to click on for Jane most of the time. Most of the time I can work in a hectic restaurant environment. Are you willing to wear a uniform and follow grooming standards? You better click on yes. Are you willing to work a flexible schedule, including nights, weekends, and holidays? Well, they did ask us about when we would prefer to be scheduled, but yeah, we can change. I'm willing to do tasks outside of my job description, which can include other side duties. Okay, they hired us for this particular position, but if they need me to do something else, I'm willing to. I'm willing to help out. Do you have experience handling cash and providing change? Answer in the way that is correct for you. Perhaps you've never had a job before. You've never worked in a restaurant. You might say, I have none. And, but they still think you're a good hire. They're willing to train you. Jane has worked at Wendy's and did that. Click on, and she is going to click on experience. Do you enjoy working with and serving the public? All, most, never, I don't know, or I've never done that before. We're going to say that Jane 
enjoys working with and serving the public most of the time. Are you currently in school? Jane is not. If you are, you click on yes. Are you able to stand on your feet for long periods of time? You're going to do that if you work in a restaurant. Yes. Will you consent to past employment verification and or reference checks? It is important that you click on yes for this. We've provided information about what we're like as a worker, where we have worked before, and naturally they're going to check on this. This is where you basically are saying all the information I have provided is correct and accurate. You can read through this. We are going to click on confirm application. We're not quite done. This is where Taco Bell wants to do an assessment, which is like a short, simple quiz in which they try to find out more about you as a person and a worker and what kind of work situations you enjoy or don't enjoy. Click on proceed with assessment. That opens up a new tab and take a moment to read through the instructions. Go with your gut and answer honestly. It's far more likely we will see what makes you unique. There is not one right answer. The best approach to this questionnaire is just be you. They're going to show us pictures for each image. Simply click me if that describes how you are and not me if it does not. And it will just take a couple minutes to complete. Okay, let's go. All right. This is the first. It's very simple. They show a picture, which is not as important as this. Free thinking. Are you a free thinking person? You can say, yeah, that's me. Or, no, that's not me. And do you know where this picture was taken? I believe it was taken at Angkor Wat in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Now, we are, you answer in a way that is truthful and accurate for you. We are going to speed through this section and cut this part of the video out. And we will see you on the other side of the assessment. Okay, we are done with the assessment. You can close this window or it will automatically close within two, one, zero seconds. Your assessment is in progress in another window. Actually, we're done. This is a little confusing. Since we have completed the assessment, oh, if you accidentally close the assessment window, you can click here to open the assessment again. They won't consider you until you complete the assessment, but we finished it and we're going to click on next step. All right, this is what we like to see. Your job application is complete. You're done. You have completed the final step in your job application. Make sure you remember your login phone number, or in our case, our login email address and secure password so that you can check your status in the future. Just like we showed you at the beginning, you go to the Taco Bell website, scroll down, look for careers, click on that, and then instead of creating an account, you're going to sign in using the email address and the password that you provided. Click on OK. And we are done. And hopefully you also are done with your application for a job with Taco Bell. Well, thank you very much for your interest. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please click on the like button. You can also click on the subscribe button and follow more of our videos on our YouTube channel to help you with your career and or with your job search. And thank you.